Okay, we're back on with the searching for a loss and um, fingers crossed we're going to be soundly beaten in this game now. We've got to be realistic. Got to be realistic. When we go to the over the board competitions, we don't win all of our games. We attempt to try and get draws. We usually end up being 50 50. Um, we are going to obviously attempt to try and win all of the games. That's the whole idea, isn't it? But in reality, um, there's players that just have got your number, you know, and. Um, Sometimes you play a little bit differently when you play over the ball because you feel like you're going to try something new. Okay, we've got the box shape here, so he's touching our pawns. We don't want him touching our pawns. But I'm going to take this pawn here so hopefully we can work around the centre as best possible. So he does capture, so we're going to take the queen. takes with the knight okay so that leaves us with a little bit of an option does it not let's bring the knight across first attacking the pawn but he's gonna defend maybe he does have a defense yeah the knight sorry coming here but the knight will get taken so he's got another defense the bishop yeah Okay, so it looks like we're going to play a nice long play game. Let's, uh, let's put some focus in. It's a bit dishevelled this opening already, so I get... What? So he's going to take the pawn here. So he's going to be a pawn up in a sense, isn't he? So we could take the pawn. That then helps his knight come out to defend the pawn here. If we take the pawn here, then he takes back. So then it's even Stephen. Opens, opens up space around his king. So I think I'm actually going to take his pawn. Then if he takes, then there's space around the king. What can we do about that? Not too sure as yet. Okay, so I'm going to attack the knight. Maybe the knight's going to come here because it doesn't want to exchange itself. Or maybe he wants this pawn to come and support this pawn here. But we do have plenty of time. I'm just push here. I don't really need to overthink that one too much. And um, his king is still open. Could take the knight. Then he's not castling on the, on the king side. He might be a bishop specialist. Sometimes the evaluation afterwards says, oh, you shouldn't have taken that knight, blah, blah, blah. Is there a better position first? Um, dark square bishop coming out as well. Castling, king safety. He doesn't have anything that's made immediately going to be threatening my king. I could just take the knight off the board. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I've got to think about it like it's an OTB match. What would I do in an OTB? Or what would I stop myself from doing and then get all arty? So I don't want to get arty. So his rook now is on a white square. We don't have a white square bishop. Our knight looks nice in this position. I don't want to overwork it, so maybe the bishop comes and attacks his knight, or we go and castle. Again, I don't think there's any threats at the minute, so I don't want to lose tempo with not developing the pieces. So if I bring my bishop out and attack his knight, it feels like it's doing something proactive. I know they say it's a rookie thing, you know, going, well, you just want to attack something, but it's better than nothing if i'm not attacking a piece then i'm going to be attacking phone's going crazy um i'm going to be attacking a key space or a, a key area or maybe the wrap the space around the king that's my kind of thinking anyway so it's actually reversed it and attacked the bishop didn't see it that way okay so i'll bring the bishop back I could just keep it there and just let the... Then it's got the two bishops. It might be a bishop, bishop specialist, might it? Got to be mindful of that. If I bring it back... Nah, let's go... Let's go here. Attacking this pawn. I know it's supported at the minute, but it's uh, giving the bishop something to do. It's got play on this side. It's got play on this side here. Attacking our knight, which is unprotected, but we can bring the knight through and attack the pawn that was being defended by the bishop. And then we can swing it here. Um, we'll, 
going into overload oh we're going into overload on that phone so at least we can jump back and attack the bishop we've got something to attack because um, uh, it's not just about you know yeah it is attack I like to have the attack principle but have something useful to attack if anything even if it's a small pawn move then I'm at, maybe I'm attacking a piece that the ooh, is defending so it's actually brought the knight back defending is that a loss in tempo or do I need to focus on castling now at this moment there's no immediate threats maybe he's looking to get our knight off the board I think I'm going to develop the knight maybe again looking to challenge the bishop I'm surprised they've come back with the knight they've not linked up the rooks or anything but this is a very quirky looking player so okay so now they've got an x-ray through to our bishop knight can 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 come here to attack the pawn that'd be interesting it's bishop takes pawn takes oh and i'm gonna lose out on castling rights aren't i let me castle first because he's gonna have a big gap here his bishop's already stopping queenside castling and then his rook could come here and then he would have stopped kingside castling so let's get castled before we fall into the trap that we always say you gotta castle make sure that your king is safe because the bishop can protect if he does take so there's no great shakes there so searching for loss just remembering what we're, why we're playing this game we're playing this game because at the minute my tally playing online doing my practice sessions with the 90 minute 10 second games is I've, I've been winning the games and that is not realistic um, if I'm going to play it over the board I want to have a realistic tally because I'm like usually the 50-50 man okay so now this pawn is pushing down and we could like we said move this to attack the pawn Or we could move our knight to attack his bishop make him make a decision what do you want to do with the bishop do you want do you really want to take it it looks like he's a bishop specialist but um his bishop's kind of trapped so he's gonna have to probably take yeah okay so let's go here oh no look at that fog <laughs> skewer whatever you want to call it Man, I said I wanted a loss, but oh, not so cruel. Oh, I've lost a piece. I can't defend. Well, I can defend the rook, so maybe I'll just uh, move the knight and take here. Just take this. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot indeed. Okay, so we've still got three pieces each. So it can still work quite nicely for us. Yeah, searching for loss. Yes, at last my tally is going to be more realistic now. Crikey. So I need to lose a few more first before my tally is realistic. But uh, we shall see how we go. Um, if I bring it here, he's just going to push his pawn even further here. So let's do this one first. Nice one. Nice one. Good, good. Good on you, good on you. Now, don't mess it up, please. Just make sure you <laughs> get some good position. All right, so where's he going? And um, if we go and do this, he can just look to take off the rook, can't he? Let's go here, x ray through, through, through to the king. Let's just bounce here, attacking his rook. Obviously, he's coming down to attack the knight. got a nice position here I don't know if he's gonna fall for it or not if he's gonna defend he's probably gonna go here we do have this pawn as well so that would be a nice position if we could get that with the knight a little bit of a fork a rooney right back at you type situation yeah exact spot 
Okay, so he's on a white square. We can take with a check. Gonna take with the check. Bring the knight back. Do do do. So it's got a nice. Oh, what's going on? Well, we could put a check on with the rook. Or we could put a check on with the knight. But then if we do with the knight, then his king comes down and actually attacks. And if they do that. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. He could always block with his knight as well. If he blocks with his knight, then we can go here. I suppose he can. He's doing blocking with the knight. <coughs> go here with the knight. Yeah, he saw that straight off, didn't he? Um, anything else? Can I attack his knight? I can with the bishop, but if everything's blocked off. Do we come here to come here, or do we come here to go here? Yeah, let's go here to go there. Let's go here, sorry. It's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, got some skills. So he's bounced out of the way, doesn't want any X-ray type situation, and I believe the the answer is in the night, but he don't want any of that stuff going on. But I think if he's got any sense, he'll get rid of my rook, and then he's winning. Then he might bring that there, so that then he can take the bishop because the pawn can't take. Yeah, my knight really is struggling up there, really, isn't it? It doesn't really have much um, support. This pawn can't reach it. Hmm, yeah. Can't get to there, but I could get to here if, if there was some magic in the world. to again look for a stealthy fork but I think this guy's a little bit too um, wily for that this is the sort of game I want though um, just have a look at the opening again One, two, da, 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 da. yeah that four pawns thing grab grab let's see what could have been done differently could have brought the knight back into the itself really couldn't we and attack the pawn here i think that probably would have been better yeah i think that's the only thing i would have changed and then obviously the fork situation yeah should have watched that one maybe should have taken the pawn first hold on Right, okay, so we came up, then they took, then we took, okay, so we didn't have the tempo to do that, so, rook first, maybe rook, move the rook, yeah, okay, just look a little bit further next time, okay, good, yeah, good, because that was a good spot from them, okay, nice, 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 so where we're currently at now, has he moved? Oh, pushing the dreaded pawn. So we're we're trying to go for this here. I don't think we'll get away with it, but you gotta try, aren't you? You gotta try. See, so good lessons in this game, actually. Some nice lessons. Um, not much I would have done differently, but just be a bit more aware of um, what the bishop can do. You know, the the position, um, so that we can't get forked in that way. Yeah, good lessons. Good lessons. I'm still looking for searching for the loss so I'm, I'm hoping this guy's giving me the loss you know because got to be realistic I know I keep harping on about it but yeah keep winning all the time online it, it, it gives you a false sense of security massively it makes you feel whoa yeah I can beat anybody I know for a fact I can't beat everybody um, you come and meet real people playing over the board atmosphere is totally different it's fantastic atmosphere and you do play differently yeah I even watch the um, you know the proper high-level um, chess streamers when they they play online and they're whooping everybody and then when they go and play over the board they play to me they play totally differently 
you know, when they play back the games, the games are nothing like... The games are nothing like what you see them play online. They're not winning as easily. Oh, he's got some magic, you know, this dude. He's got some magic. I'm taking some... Oh, God, you joking me? He's got some skills. I don't believe it. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, we'll resign this one. So we, f we found the loss that we were searching for.